How's it going everybody? Mike here with uh, July 2020 Merch by Amazon sales update. All right, let's get right into the numbers. This month is actually uh, basically good news because the numbers for the past two months have actually been increasing. This is ever since they started uh, listing more of our products due to COVID-19. I think it was April that was completely dead. Uh, zero sales, zero products listed. And then we got into, I think, May, June, and now this is uh, July. So total amount of sales, actually 122 sales uh, for the total amount of $2,057.74, as you can see here, which equals to $338.92 in royalties. And there was a total of uh, 125 sales and three returns. Even though this says five returns, I think that's for all of the uh, marketplaces. And um, you know, that's uh, that's not a bad uh, bad month uh, considering everything you know that's that's happened over the last couple months. Fifty three percent of sales are pop sockets, and then we get into you, you know t-shirts. Uh, Twenty five percent standard, premium, and then we get into everything else, which is pretty insignificant when it you know it's under 10 sales in total uh, men's 54 percent and then women's fit is uh, 39 and then seven for kids that when it comes to clothing royalties per sale two dollars and 77 cents now I've slowly been working on increasing this um, you know I went through a bit of a phase where I lowered a lot of my prices and uh, you know my my royalties were about two bucks uh, a sale. Now I've been making some changes, some adjustments, so my royalties are actually going up, which is uh, not so bad. I, I can't uh, I can't complain right now. Uh, this definitely not you know where I want to be and and uh, what I was kind of uh, thinking when I was getting into this. But for the time being and and what's going on, uh, I'm okay with this. Let's look at how this month uh, compares to. Uh, last few months and and then kind of where we're going what the trajectory is so for those of you new to my channel I have a total number of sales is six thousand two hundred eighteen dollars I just hit over a hundred thousand dollars in sales and uh, and as you can see here this is April what I was talking about uh, this is due to COVID-19 sales which is going down because none of the products were available for sale and then May uh, 86 sales and this is again I, I think there was like maybe like 25 to 50 percent of my products were actually available for sale in June we jumped up to uh, 95 so as you can see here close to $200 in uh, royalties in May we jumped to 235 which is what's the difference about 40 bucks and then now this a uh, bit of a more of a significant jump which is about a uh, $105 more than the previous month so I have no idea what's gonna happen in August um, I'm noticing that on average my sales are uh, going up which is really good and then I've, I've been talking about uh, cell phone cases uh, in the last couple of videos I'm, I'm actually really excited about that uh, because uh, I have a lot of designs that I think might uh, sell and uh, it's kind of the same idea uh, for pop sockets that when they introduce that product product I was really on top of it and and, uh, and I jumped into it I I still haven't uh, started posting or listing as, as many as I wanted to I'm just getting into it so I think over the next month or two uh, you know my prediction is that I'm gonna have hundreds uh, hopefully close to a thousand uh, cell phone cases uh, uh, up uh, and selling uh, so so we'll see what happens there especially going into Q4 I'm a little excited about that the last thing that I want to do is go over some of these numbers so I actually updated these statistics for anybody who doesn't know this is pretty merch pro I'm not affiliated with these guys at all I just use the uh, the Chrome extension uh, so basically it gives you these types of numbers which is live products right now I'm I have 6063 out of my 8000 that's allowed because I'm an, at a tier 8000 buyable products as you can see here I'm actually at 87 percent so not all of my products are still available uh, to be purchased and even the ones that I've actually that I see as as 
are listed as live, when I click on them, a bunch of them actually say currently unavailable. So I don't know if that's based on location or, or what the case is. So these numbers are a little funny. So I would just say if, if you're noticing that maybe some of your products are not selling, but they used to, most likely they're not available for sale. And then uh, products with sales, uh, 755 of my 6,000. Uh, and again, this is uh, not completely accurate. This is higher. And uh, and again, I would have to do these updates again to see see the exact numbers. Uh, reviews out of uh, 197 reviews that my products have received, it, it says 3.9. Again, this is not exactly accurate because I remember running this about a day or two ago and uh, it, it was well above four on average and there were more reviews, but, uh, but that's okay, I, I guess. Uh, I, I don't know what what exactly is taken into consideration when when these stats are uploaded so maybe the products for example that are not available for sale are not considered in these uh, stats I, I really don't know anyways like I said the point of this video was a sales update so let's go over the numbers uh, one more time and um, 125 total sales three returns total amount two thousand fifty seven dollars seventy four cents and uh, my profit or royalties are three hundred thirty eight dollars and ninety two cents anyways I, I'm happy with uh, at least the direction of where everything's going sales are increasing every month not by you know huge numbers but uh, you know a hundred bucks more this month than the previous month is uh, something that I'll take uh, every day of the week so definitely can't complain as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas, comments, if you want to share your experiences for other viewers, please leave a comment down below and uh, I'll see you guys soon.